Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this video, what we're going to be doing is taking a quick look at the uh, new beta release of Pop! OS 21.10. Now, there's not an official change log, so I'm not quite sure on all the Pop! OS specific changes, but taking notes from the Ubuntu 21.10 change log, we can kind of get an idea of what is going on. And the main thing is Ubuntu 21.10 is going to be shipping with GNOME 40, so we're going to be checking that out in Pop! OS. Additionally, it's going to be shipping with Pipewire, which is going to be nice if you uh, want to use Wayland with the NVIDIA card. There's some theme things, but I'm assuming Pop! OS is going to kind of be doing their own thing here. Ubuntu 21.10 is going to be getting uh, Pulse Audio 15 by default. And with GNOME 40 being included, there's going to be those nice touch gestures. There might be some changes in the UI. We're going to check that out. And at least with Ubuntu, they may not have GNOME 41 yet, but they do have some applications that are at version 41. So we're going to be checking Pop! OS to see if they have those on here yet. Now, if you're somebody who is interested in testing out the beta, there is versions right here on GitHub. And you can see on their notes, the main change is the integration of Cosmic with GNOME 40. You could download them all here, test it out. And a really big thing that I'm excited for is the experimental Raspberry Pi 4 image. So there's going to be an ARM64 version of Pop! OS that will be officially supported coming out in the near future. So with all that said, let's go ahead and install this thing. So right here we have our initial install Pop! OS. Let's just go English, United States, English keyboard, default, layout. And we're going to do a clean install. I will note this is on VirtualBox. As for some reason, this morning my capture card decided not to cooperate with me. So let's go ahead and do a clean install, select that VBox hard disk, hit erase install. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and type in our name information. Go with my first name as the username, hit next, creating a password here, go next. And we're not gonna set up encryption now because this is a virtual machine, it's not too important at the moment. So I'm gonna go don't encrypt. And here we go, it's installing. If you ever want to kind of see what's going on in the background, if you just click on this little console, you'll be able to see what is going on. Maybe, maybe not right now, but usually you can. All right, and it looks like we are all set up here. So we're gonna go ahead and restart our device so we can continue the setup process. All right, so we are booted up. We have our Pop! OS welcome screen here. So let's go ahead and shuffle through this real quick. We have our typical options. So you could have no dock, have it extend to the edge or kind of have a floating dock there. The floating dock is my preference generally, but for this, we're going to go ahead and keep it at the default. Here we have the option to show our workspace and applications button. Uh, that's one thing that the Pop! OS team did is separate these two options up here. And then we could go ahead and place our time and date in the center. We're just going to keep that all default. Here, this is one of my favorite things is their start menu, or not their start menu, but their uh, pop launcher, which will let you search for applications, files, and actually manage your currently open windows just by hitting the windows key. I do like that a lot. It's kind of like you launcher, but a little bit better. So if we go next, we have easier uh, navigation with those touch gestures. Can't show you that because I am using a mouse. So we'll go next. Here is where we can pick our color scheming, light or dark. Let's stick with dark. It's cool that dark is the uh, default in this operating system. Sure, let them know where we are. Time zone, we're actually over here. Next, online accounts, they give you a whole bunch of options, which is really nice. So here you connect uh, Google, Nextcloud, Microsoft, or whatever it is you happen to be using. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip that and start using Pop! OS. So with that, the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is just go to workspaces. And it looks like they're still using a, a horizontal style workspace instead of that vertical workspace. So with that, I kind of just want to make sure that they're actually using a GNOME 40 here. And that's something that they decided to go with. Let's go under about and here. Yep, we're running GNOME version 40.4. This is X11, so Xorg from default. So it is interesting they decided not to incorporate those vertical workspaces, but this is kind of their own thing, and I do understand why they kept it as it was. Uh, we have time and date, we have default applications, which is really easy to change what actually opens with some specific files. We have users, so you could change your actual uh, picture, login stuff. Under firmware, this is really nice. If you have like an NVIDIA card or anything like that, you could just go over to firmware and get whatever type of drivers or anything that you need. And if I go ahead and scroll up here to desktop, this is actually their custom cosmic configuration here. 
So we can kind of check to see if there's anything different. Uh, it doesn't really look like it, at least in general. If we go under background, you can see all the different background options we have. There are some beautiful ones with the pop desktop. Under appearance, we have our light and dark theme. We have our standard dock settings, including the ability to set a custom size. You can position the dock wherever you want. Um, show mounted drive, so I'm not seeing anything new there. We have our fixed or dynamic workspaces, some multi-monitor behavior. So this is kind of cool. You can set workspaces to span between multiple displays or set the workspaces to just be on your primary display only. And then we have our placement of workspace picker. You could have it on the left side or right side. So out of anything, I would have expected there to be a uh, top or bottom option there to have like little icons show up for your workspaces on the top. Uh, maybe not the bottom because that might interfere with the dock, but ultimately it seems that Pop! OS is slowly trying to separate themselves from GNOME, considering they just straight up renamed it to something else. That's the, the first step in that process. Um, other than that, I'm not really noticing too much differences. Up here, this is one of my favorite things, the uh, pop tiling. So we could set gaps. I, I usually go with a dramatic gap, maybe something like uh, 15 or so. So if you open up a couple different things, let's open files, the pop store, which is wonderful software center, by the way, go ahead and enable this. Okay. Maybe the, uh, the 15 is a little too much for, uh, there's a virtual machine here, right here. We have floating window exceptions. So if you're running like something like a virtual box and you don't want it to tile, you can set that up here, but here is tiling. It doesn't really look too good with these three windows specifically, but if I hold windows key and hit the arrow keys, this is how I switch in between those windows. If I hit Y, I can enable or disable it. There we go. That looks a little better. So now this is how we actually go and pick what windows we want to use. All right, I'm going to interject real quick here. One thing I did forget to uh, go ahead and check is if they've updated some of these applications to the GNOME 41 versions. And thus far, it does look like they have. We see we have GNOME Calendar 41 here. If I close that out, and by the way, GNOME Calendar 41 now can do ICO files, so it's really easy to import events and things like that. If we go over here to GNOME Disks, let's go to About Disks. We can see that this is also running the 41 version. If I come over here to image viewer, go to about, we are running the 41 version. And then last but not least, we have system monitor here about, and we are running the 41 version. So it does look like they're updating these applications in accordance with what Ubuntu is doing. One thing is if we go ahead and open up HTOP here, or maybe not, let's do sudo. Now that we have HTOP, I'm going to get out of this uh, tiling real quick and close some of this out. Let's see how it's running. Because usually GNOME, at least uh, GNOME 40, seems to use just about a gigabyte of RAM, maybe 1.1 to 1.2. So on Pop! OS, it looks like we are using about that, maybe a little less at 969 megabytes of RAM. On a fresh boot, probably would have been a little bit less, but chances are you're probably not booting up your system and staring at the screen. So... We have about 105 active tasks at the moment, which really isn't too bad. So let's close this out. So there's really not too much to look at as of yet. Uh, when we get that change log, I'll know a little bit better what to actually look for, but it is interesting to see how they're uh, incorporating GNOME 40 thus far. Uh, you can see if I click applications, nothing's really happening there. So let's try to search something. Now we're getting stuff. So that's good. If I search something like GIMP, Oh, GIMP. It should come up as a result for the store, which it does right here. So I just click on that, open up GIMP and install it through their pop store. So with that said, if you're interested in trying this out, there'll be a link down below to that GitHub page. If you're somebody with a Raspberry Pi, that would be super cool to go ahead and try this out on there. With the current RAM consumption, if you have something like a four gigabyte Raspberry Pi, it's probably gonna work pretty good for you. Uh, like I said, it's experimental, so that's just based on specs, not based on the actual readiness of the actual software. But if it's giving you issues, it will definitely approve over time. Uh, with all that said, I would love to thank our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. We have Mitchell Valentino, Phil Mac, Kyle, and Timo, Anthony. Thank you guys, and thank you to all the other Techie and Techie Plus members. Uh, I'm going to be doing some uh, changes coming up here, uploading some more... Uh, exclusive member only videos. 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start archiving my future live streams to be like a member only playback thing. So with all of that said, I do hope you all have an absolutely beautiful day. If you like this video, uh, make sure you subscribe and you ring that bell for more similar to this one or probably even better. Uh, like this video if you did leave a comment telling me what you think about the future development of Pop OS and their cosmic desktop environment. Again, with all that said, have a beautiful day and goodbye.